Hey everyone, it's Liz. I'm back. I know it's been a couple weeks since, or maybe, yeah, a couple weeks since I last posted a video. Um, I just wanted to share with you some new things that I um, have picked up within the last month or so, I guess. Um, I haven't really, um, since my last video, I've kind of went on a little bit of a slot, uh, shopping haul splurge. <laughs> anyway, um, if you haven't checked that video out, um, feel free to go check it out. Um, it was the last one that I did, so. Anyway, some of the stuff might be, some of the stuff may have been repeated. I'm pretty sure most of the stuff I have now I didn't show in the other video, but if I did, Oh well, it's sort of one of my favorites anyway right now. Um, these are just um, favorites I've either tried or, yeah, and just things I've picked up within the last month or so. So let's get started. Um, I did do my I Love Spring tag, and at the time I didn't have, um, I didn't have like an accessory for spring. And so I was able, um, to find a really awesome scarf. I personally am not a um, scarf person, or like I wasn't, but I think I've kind of converted over a little bit. I had one scarf that I used to use a little bit, but not so much. Um, I just don't ever think about getting scarves, but um, I was impressed and, well, I wouldn't say impressed. I would say, oh my gosh, I really, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a really cool scarf. Anyway, I'll stop, stop mumbling here. <laughs> anyway, this is the scarf I picked up and it's so pretty. It's perfect for spring. It's just this really lovely, bright, flowery, coral pink. And it's just, it's like, it goes around, like it's just a big circle, like it doesn't separate like some scarves. And then you can twist it and then put it over. <laughs> So yeah, there you go. There's my spring accessory. And something else that I've had for, I've had it for a while, um, is this really pretty, I got this on Amazon. It was really cheap. I think it was probably like two or three bucks. Maybe it was two bucks. Um, it is this really pretty peacock, um, see, peacock bracelet. It's just all these pretty jewels on it. And then it just, clips open like this and then you just put it on and voila so this is one of my I guess this would be a spring accessory because it's very colorful very springish I guess I guess you could wear it any time of year but you know it's kind of nice to wear I think something like this like in the spring and summer just very colorful so that and this scarf which is amazing um I got this at our it was called the exchange military exchange store and it was just so pretty I couldn't bypass not getting it so that is my scarf that I have and this is my bracelet so I would say those are my accessory type things oh and I picked up what I'm wearing today is this really I went to Kmart and I don't normally shop at Kmart, but I was like, oh, I'm just going to go check it out, see what they have for spring or whatever. So I went in and I was like, oh my gosh. I was just in there literally for two hours. I lost track of time because I was trying things on and I was looking for a pair of wedges and I couldn't find a really good pair that I really liked. And I couldn't find a really good pair at Payless. So I don't know. I'm probably just going to have to forfeit trying to find wedges for the summer. I am more of a flip-flop person and I got these really awesome flip-flops at Walmart. Like, um, I don't really shop for clothes at Walmart. Like I'll get like the undergarments sometimes or like their flip-flops, but I don't really buy actual clothing from them just because I find that some of the clothing is pretty cheap and I've had experiences where they rip so easily. So. I am more, um, I do like Old Navy and Gap a bit, but yeah. Um, these are the really cute flip-flops. I got these at Walmart for like three bucks or something. They're just cute. 
And lately, I don't know what it is, I've been attracted to um, leopard print. I don't know why. But maybe it's, um, I don't know. I don't know why I like leopard print. I think the girls from Jersey Liss is lit. Blah. I watched the show Jersey Licious. I know it's pretty silly. Some people might like it. You might not like it. Or maybe you do watch it. But anyway, they're all about leopard on there. I don't know if maybe they've brainwashed me into liking leopard. I have no clue. But I just thought they were cute. And they had glitter on them. Glitterly. Literally. Glitter. <laughs> on the flip flop. So those are what I got for flip flops for the summer. Uh, my ones that I got last year from Walmart. Just literally two days ago. Or maybe, maybe it was longer than that probably four or five days ago. They just totally fell apart. So I was like, perfect timing, time for a new pair. Um, so I, this is gonna be a little bit of a long video, so just bear with me. It like literally might be a little bit. So if you don't want to watch this whole video, you can always skip to different parts. Um, I will be discussing some makeup and some products that I am loving. Oh, I was gonna say, I just got off track here, sorry. I was gonna say I went to Kmart and I got this really pretty necklace. It's just really pretty. It has it's like blue and rectangle. I just thought it was nice. And I found this. A friend of mine, I'll show you the shirt I have. This is a leopard print mint green shirt I got at Kmart for like five bucks. Um, I needed some summery spring tank top type things so I got this for five bucks it's very nice I'll show you very nice yeah I love it um and then um I found this last year or my friend gave me this this is from Lane Bryant and it is like a mint blue greeny <laughs> color but it looks so good putting it over putting it over um, the tank top. So, yeah. Like, and so, yeah, anyway. Yeah, so you don't necessarily have to go out and buy, buy, you know, new things, look in your closet, cause you know, trends always come back and you don't never know that old sweater, <laughs> those, that old, those old shirts from 20 years ago. And like, I just remember the early nineties and there was so much neon and bright colors, you know, that was the big thing. And you know, like the 80s too. So it's amazing, it's pretty cool like seeing that around, but at the same time I'm like, oh my gosh, this is flashback, I'm getting old. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I will, um, right now, the products I am loving, um, I picked up this Vaseline Total Moisture Coco Radiant Lotion. It is amazing. I am a total lotion person. I moisturize every single day. I love this stuff. Um, it's, if you like cocoa, the smell cocoa, cocoa butter, you'll like this. Um, yeah, it's really good. I enjoyed it. This is the first time I've actually bought the, this Vas the Vaseline, um, Vaseline brand for lotion. So check that out if you haven't already. It's good. Um, I saw their other products that spray, spray moisturizing. I'm not sure if I'll use that or not. To me, it doesn't matter. I just, you know, put on lotion. I like just using this regular lotion. Um, I know some people are in a hurry and they're like, oh, I'm gonna spray it on me. That's just my personal opinion. I might change my mind, who knows. Um, and then I've heard re lots of reviews on this and I'm not someone who necessarily has to tan. Like I tan pretty easily and I have olive toned skin. And, uh, but the Jergens Natural Glow, um, which is, you know, just a really good kind of uh, moisturize, it moisturizes, it helps, you know, with, uh, getting you natural, your natural looking color, you know, 
looking good, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I love this. It's nice. Um, I haven't, I've seen a little bit of change, but not too much, but I, I like it for like the moisturizing too. And it is, I'm not sure about the firming part. Um, I guess we'll see. I just started using this probably a, a week ago. So I will ch have to update you ladies on this. Okay, so since I've been loving, um, I've shown this in my spring, um, my spring tag, I love spring, but this is the Cherry Blossom, Cherry Blossom um, perfume by Bath and Body Works. It is one of my favorite smells. It's probably, probably a signature smell for me right now. Um, but yeah, I love it. It smells good. Very springy, floral. If you're a floral person, if you love floral scents and you'll like this. Um, I do like their lotion and stuff too, so. And the candle. I have the, well, the Japanese cherry blossom candle, which is nice too. Anyway, that is one scent. And I picked up this other scent by Victoria's Secret. And it is called Such a Flirt. And it is just a really nice, kind of a fruity floral smell. Um, it has, it's called Star, is it Starberry? Star? Starfruit. Starfruit and... Um, white orchid smell and it, it smells amazing I put this stuff on the other day when I bought it or I smelled it at the store and it just smelled really really good so such a flirt I haven't tried any of the body lotions or anything I did have a, another this is the second bottle I bought of any of the Victoria's Secret perfumes um, the other one I had was called strawberry champagne and it was a smell that I found um, a couple of years ago that was like, it reminded me, actually this girl I knew, let's see, 10 years ago, maybe a little bit longer, she introduced me to the strawberry champagne smell and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to go like, I think she gave me a small bottle of it. Anyway, I refound it two years ago and I was like oh my gosh this is amazing I and then I got the strawberry champagne and it just it was a good smell and I don't know if they discontinued it or what if any of you know about that smell from Victoria's Secret the strawberry champagne please feel free to leave a comment or let me know if you know where you can get it because I would love to have that again because I finished the whole bottle which was like this and it lasted about at least over a year. So these are pretty good. Like you don't need a whole lot to make yourself smell good. Um, okay, moving on to more like makeup type things. I picked up this, I was with my husband probably about a month ago, maybe a little less. And I got the Rimmel London Clean Finish Matte Foundation. And I've never tried any of their foundations, but I, I was like, oh, well, I'll just give it a try. And it's 100% um, poreless, or look 100% poreless. And for me, anyway, I have pores that you can see really easily, which drives me insane, mostly up here in my upper part of my cheeks and under my eyes. But it's so annoying. I hate having, like, visible pores where people, you can just see it really well hate it. So this color is 240 soft beige oil control mineral minerals I guess it says and it is one full ounce 30 milliliters. Um, I actually like this. It's not too bad. I mean it's a lower um, lower brand like um, makeup brand or whatever but I do I do like some a lot of their different products um, the eyeshadows um and lipstick I got one lipstick my first one I'll show you here in a minute but yeah so I got this and it was it's pretty good it, the coverage is okay it opens up and I'll show you the it comes in this really weird 
applicator. So you can just take it out and without using, you know, anything else and then kind of place it around. I use a brush and he still, I still use a brush and, you know, um, blend it around or whatever. But this is kind of convenient in a way, I guess, you know, it's kind of a cool idea. Anyway, check that out if you haven't. It's pretty good. I don't have anything horrible to say about it um, yet. I haven't been using it too long, so if anything changes, I will be sure to try to update. Um, okay, and the next foundation, which I've heard raves and raves about on YouTube, is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. And this, my color is in warm beige, and I just love this. This is um, in, in warm beige and 845 foundation plus sunscreen, SPF 20, is, you know, coverage of a concealer, um, lasting power of a primer, which is awesome. Um, I love this. I've tried this while well, I just bought it. So, um, yeah, I like it. It's very long lasting. And yeah, I would recommend checking it out if you haven't. It's nice. Um, okay, and then I picked up my... I've shown this in another video, but it's become my primer that I can actually afford at this time. And it is NYC New York Color Smooth Skin Perfecting Primer in shade 684, which, you know, I don't think they have any other shades. This is just the shade <laughs> that they, I've used since, well, I, I emptied the last bottle. This is the only shade it comes in. So, yeah, and it just, I don't know if I showed you what it looked like inside, but it's just very, it's a clear, like kind of white, but when you put it on, it has a little shimmer to it. You can't really see it, but when you put it on, it goes on clear when, and um, it's better than the one that I got from Rimmel. The one I got from Rimmel, it wasn't too bad, but I didn't really like the fact that it was orange colored. Um, I don't know. I guess it doesn't make any difference really because when I did I just blended it in but um, anyway I like this one better and it works really well and it's probably about three or four bucks at Walmart in my area so check it out if you haven't um, would definitely recommend this NYC smooth skin perfecting primer okay next beauty product mascara Another rave. This has been a rave for a couple years now. It's the, I was at Walgreens and I saw the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing, Volumizing Mascara. And this little baby, I tried for my first time today and I have it on. It works well, I like it. Um, I didn't have any clumping issues. It automatically just totally made my eyes more like length more length and volume I would say and then I did combine it with the um, Maybelline um, rocket blast mascara I did combine it a little bit with that and so it gave me a little bit oomph with my eyelashes so definitely check this out if you haven't okay next product is the Wet n Wild Mega Eyes Defining Marker, eight, 869. Picked this up at Walgreens the other day. I wasn't sure, someone did a review on it, so they loved it. The only thing I'd have to say, this is okay. I find that the mar this marker, and so I tried the e.l.f. one too, the, the eyeliner marker, and they're both very dry. Like it really kind of hurt like me putting this on just and it didn't go I don't know if it was just this one or if it's like that but I don't know if I'm gonna buy this again I thought at first it was gonna be great like when I put it on but it's already drying out like I just got this yesterday or two days ago and it's like yeah. it shows a little bit but it's not I don't know I'm not really impressed. Um, I don't recommend getting this, honestly. Yeah, and it's cheap. I thought, oh, well, it, you know, someone said they loved it. 
And I even tried putting, maybe I, it was my fault, I don't know, I tried damping it a little bit just so it didn't, so it would go on a little bit better, but I probably won't get this again. If you ladies can recommend any type of pencil or, you know, marker eyeliners that are good, I would definitely be interested in finding that out. Because um, I, I love eyeliner and I'm always looking for new ones, so. Okay, next product is a couple other Rimmel items. This is the Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder I got. Heard reviews on this, so I thought I'd try it out. Not sure if it's in my shade, but it works pretty good. It doesn't make my face look a different color or anything. It just, um, it, I do see that it does give me a matte finish and it's, this one is in 018 Creamy Beige and it's nice, I like it. Actually, I'd have to say this is pretty close to my color. Oh, I think I was thinking of, oh, I don't have it here right now. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. It's this. This is by NYC. The bronzer in the Smooth Skin Bronzer in 720A Sunny. And this is pretty good. It's not too bad for a bronzer. I do also like my other bronzer, which is the Rimmel one. I think I like the Rimmel one better. It's the natural bronzer, and this one is in Sundance. I've, I've hit pan on this, but um, that one's nice. My, these are the only two bronzers I have is this Rimmel one and this one. So, I, yeah, I think, or sorry, showing you the wrong one. <laughs> I meant the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer and the Rimmel one. I really think I like the Rimmel one a little bit better. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's, it's kind of nice though to have a matte one. And this one's a little bit shimmery. The Rimmel one's a little bit shimmery. So if you don't like shimmer, you might not like this and you might go for this. Um, but if you do, you might like this and not go for this. I don't know. I got both. So that was pretty good. And this was, yeah, this was probably about three bucks or something. But yeah, it's all right. Okay, next item is the Scandal Eyes Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in Nude. And it is nice. Um, I'm wearing it under my eyes right now. It's a very nice. I really love this. This is great. I might pick up some of the other colors later. All right. I'm kind of moving a little bit faster just because my video is already at 23 minutes. Um, so bear with me. Um, okay, so another item is e.l.f. blush, which I'm not sure if I showed this in one of my videos or not, but this one is in, oh my goodness, what the heck, e.l.f. Okay, this is being retarded. Okay, this is the e.l.f. blush and it is in Fuchsia Fusion, it's just a really beautiful fuchsia color. Very used, as you can see. This little part is coming out. I don't know if that. Ah, oh, great. Cheapo. <laughs> Whatever. So anyway, yeah, this is the blush. This is the pigment. It's very purpley. Very pretty. It has a little shimmer in it. I'm a little bit about shimmer, not over excessive shimmer, but pretty good I like that all right what else are we going to talk about okay this is one of the Maybelline color tattoos I try to look for the new ones that are out and I can't find them anywhere not at my Walgreens not at the next not at the Kmart not at the, I haven't checked Rite Aid I might check there um this is the Maybelline color tattoo by iStudio and I was looking for the, this green for a long time actually and this is called um edgy emerald and it's just a pretty green color i'm all about greens and purples i have it on right now and i also added a little bit of my revlon um party pops palette that has like a um really nice purple so the purple's on there too it's like a purpley blue and then the green so that's what i'm wearing 
It's very nice and creamy. I do recommend these. These are awesome. I have the gold one, gold, 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 and this one. Uh, yeah, like I said, I want to try the new ones that are out. If any of you know where to get that, that'd be awesome to find out. Okay, another um, e.l.f. product. This is a uh, e.l.f. Tone Correcting Concealer in Apricot Beige. And I just picked this up for like a buck at Walmart the other day. And it smells good, actually. It actually smells kind of like apricot-y. <laughs> Um, it's okay. It's not like a heavy, it's like, a, yeah, it's a tone correcting concealer. It's okay. It does all right for a buck, but I wouldn't probably purchase this again. Just me personally. Um, the color is okay. Conceal it. Yeah, it's all right. It does smell amazing, I have to say that. So check it out if you haven't. Not a repurchase for me. Okay, what are we on now? Lippies, 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 sorry. Okay, so these are like my favorite right now. Um, it is the, it's the Maybelline Color Sensational I think it's called High Shine Lip Glosses. <gasps> la la! No, I think they came out in the fall or something, or maybe last summer? <laughs> I can't remember. Anyway, this one is in Captivating Coral. It's just a very pretty coral color. I had to pick two of them up. They're the only ones I really liked out of the, out of all of them. And this is what it looks like. Very pretty coral. Very nice. It does last a lot, long time. It's very opaque. And then this one is um, called um, Raspberry Reflections. And it's just a pretty fuchsia purple. And it's just beautiful. I'll show you that one. I'm wearing that one right now, actually. And yeah, there it is. Now, you might, you can like build upon it, like, you know, if you want more and more bolder color. There you go. So yeah, those are the two favorite lippy lip glosses I like right now. Good for spring and summer. And then I picked this up for 99 cents. I don't even know why, but I was like, I never try brown lipsticks at all. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try it out. And this is the Wet n Wild lipstick in Java. And it's just a brown. I may have shown, like I said, I may have shown a couple of these products in my last video, but this is the color. It's just a brown. This might be good for like the fall, but I'm not sure how I, it looked weird to me because I put it on and I was like, I don't know about this, but I was the same way with the shocking coral color, um, by when, or with the Maybelline, um, vivids. That's the only one I've tried. And at first I was like, Oh my gosh, I don't know about this, but I love it now. I've just totally adjusted to it. So yeah, that is my makeup slash sort of accessory haul. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Or if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to hear your feedback. Um, also, I will be doing an upload on nail polish because I am a nail polish junkie. Anyway, um, I will talk to you, uh, you ladies later. So bye for now.